it might not be obvious, we're looking at one of the most iconic motorcycles of the late 1980s into the late 1990s. This is a 1996 Honda CBR 600 F3. It was produced from 1995 until 1998, and it carried on a winning tradition that Honda had with the F2, which came before it. So ultimately, not only was it a great bike for the street selling tons of motorcycles, like 50,000 plus units. It also won a number of AMA Super Sport Championships in the hands of Miguel Duhamel, who became the winningest racing driver in that entire category. So the production numbers weren't really that great, made about 100 horsepower, so by modern standards it's not really anything to write home about. However, in terms of the era, it won every single shootout that it came across, providing performance and comfort that really was unmatched inside the category. Overall, if you're looking for a little bit of vintage vibes, the 600 F3 is a really cool bike to take a look at. Oh man, this thing is smooth. Just super lays down the power. Okay, what's going on guys? As you can see, I have the F3 out here um, I've been doing a ton of work to it and I know that you guys have so far only seen like brake pads and stuff like that um, I want you to know that this is an iconic bike it is an iconic machine that owned the 90s and early 2000s and they're so rare that I just feel like if I'm gonna put time and effort and energy into a bike like this I'm gonna do it right and it's gonna be awesome so that's what we're doing right now um, I expect this bike will take a month to a month and a half to be complete before you'll really start seeing uh, finished video production with this thing. Um, I'm already on video number two and they're 15 minutes long and sped up um, for the restoration, cosmetics and restoration as well as uh, you know things that are wrong with the bike. So it'll be a while before you guys see the finished product of this bike. I'm actually going through the entire wiring loom right now. Um, cause I noticed some things are wrong. Um, and we'll, we'll discuss all that. Uh, today I have to install the new ignition because they hot wired this ignition. And even though I have a clean title for the bike and everything, they installed the wrong ignition and cut a bunch of wires and did things. So I'm currently going through all that right now. So we'll discuss all that. Um, but the, the reality is you may see a couple more videos with this of things that I'm fixing or doing just because they deserve their own video and they would be helpful set aside from a complete restoration video. So I'll be doing that like when I install the ignition that'll get its own video. Um, outside of that, um, all I've been doing now is stripping paint, um, going through the entire mechanical side of this thing, making sure everything's good. I did order a new chain for it because this chain is horribly stretched to the point where it's making contact with the top bar. It is almost at its complete adjustment point. So I did order a whole new chain for this um, and all new plastics. Um, it is going to be an absolute nightmare trying to figure out what they've done here, what's missing. I mean, half these are bent. You know, it's like, this isn't even in the right spot. This should be back here. So they clearly did things because of the turn signals. I'm not sure why they did it this way. Really doesn't make too much sense to me. And I'm not gonna know literally until I get down to putting the plastics on that I ordered, which by the way, are gonna take nearly a month and a half to get here from China. So up until that point, um, this bike is just getting a complete rework. Now, that's not gonna stop me from riding it. Um, I did order the original seat for this thing. Um, so I will be putting the original seat back on if I have to cover it and redo it. I will um, I'm currently going through the entire system because this is a bike that I'm going to keep for a while This is the type of bike where when it's done It will look amazing and you will get a lot of props from sport bike riders just because of how iconic this machine was This is kind of like one of those cars where you know You take an old Dodge Charger and you fix it up and then people are like, oh shit. That's amazing This is that bike. This is what that bike does for the sport bike world. So yes, I'm taking my time on the project Yes, it's going to be done correctly. Um, I still have a little few more fairings to pull off. All the fairings are over here. These are getting either parted out and sold on eBay for the new ones, or I don't know. I still have some measurements to do on the front here because I noticed the headlight assembly is bent. This bracket is bent, and this one is normal, but I think, I think something's going on with the bar system here. Um, I did remount all of this, so this is all solid now. 
as you can see new bolts and stuff went in there but like i said i'll have a whole video separately just for all that stuff um, today is going to be reworking the electronics and making sure that the um, new ignition that i got uh, worked properly with the system because right now it's back feeding power into the system which actually burned out the voltage regulator so that's why it's not charging the bike it's just running off the battery power of the bike so I have a new voltage regulator coming because this one is junk um, and it's old and unfortunately it burned really bad so uh, yeah I mean there's there's things that I'm doing here like I said I knew this bike needed a lot of work um, yes it runs yes it drives um, for a duration of time before the battery finally dies and can't produce spark for the bike anymore um, so that's something that i am currently addressing right now this bike is 28 years old it's a granny you know the fact that honda's made a machine that a high revving machine that's made it to 39,915 miles and i've seen these things well into the 80,000 mile range is insane to me this just goes to show you that honda makes incredible sport bikes the fact this thing is still on the road the original engine obviously somebody did some top end work and you can see they put some uh, high performance coils and stuff in there because red um, but so clearly the bike had some work um, I don't hear any ticking or knocking from the engine, which means somebody did recently uh, do the head job on this. But just wanted to, to make you guys aware you won't be seeing much of this bike until it's done, except for a few videos that I want to make separately because I know that people are going to need those tutorials on how to do that. And, you know, so we're, we're going to be doing that. Um, and I really need to go through the back end of this bike and figure out where these plastics are actually meant to be mounted because I think they moved them down so they could put these little shitty turn signals on here. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be redoing this is because this is not, it's not ideal. It's just not ideal. So yeah. And then there's wires that are just open that need to be covered with, you know, shrink tape and stuff like that. So could the bike probably drive 30 miles for the battery would die? Yes. I'd be pushing my luck. It's better just to fix the system. You know, I want the bike to work 100% properly. So most of the stuff that you guys see right now that all looks dirty and shitty, you won't see uh, when I'm done because all the plastics cover all of this. Most of the frame that you can see that's, that's all this will be covered. You won't see any of it. None of the imperfections. It'll have a whole new plastics kit. And what's fun, I don't want to divulge too much, but this thing was the winner in the nine, you know, 95 GP index for racing, and uh, so I have a very special kit coming for this bike. You'll see. You'll see. I spent a lot of money. Let's just say that I spent a lot of money uh, to make this kit a possibility for this bike. So, yeah. So, anyways. Uh, that's the update on the F3. This will be my bike for a considerable amount of time. This to me is an old school muscle car. This is one of the old school muscle bikes that ran the road that uh, owned, absolutely owned the 90s and early 2000s. This is an iconic retro monster. That's a super sport. It'll keep up with R6s of today's time. That's crazy. It's crazy and the 0 to 60 snap on this machine is wild absolutely wild even for the time of its release it was way ahead of its generation and even today people would be like oh no that's too fast i don't need to go from zero to that fast <laughs> i don't need to hey you can see the frame numbers 1995 manufacturing date japan so let's restore this puppy uh, i just wanted to put that out for out there for you guys um i do have to redo my fork seals on the front well one of them the other one looks fine but if i'm going to tear them down i may as well just do them both while i'm in there you can see this one's leaking oil and that one is not so this one has a minor leak to it um it's best just to do it now um, i'm trying to leave all the original parts i can the original colors uh for instance front brakes that's the original paint Rear brakes, original paint. There's there's no reason why I should try to change things that aren't necessary or don't need it, you know? So, yep, that's what's happening with this bike. So, uh, you may see a couple more videos with this of things that, that I deem necessary. Like when I do synchronize the carbs, I'll probably make that video. It won't have none of the plastics on it or anything. When I replace the ignition, we'll probably make that video. Um, but she's stripped and ripped right now. This thing is completely pulled down minus one fender, um, and that comes next. So, 
There you go. Hey, the monster's torn down right now. Dan doesn't have a motorcycle. Well, I do have a motorcycle. I got two of them. There's one there, this one, and my normal one. But um, I think I have a buyer for this coming Friday or Saturday or maybe Monday. We'll see. So the 500 is going to be gone. I can still legally drive it right now because it's titled my name, but just don't really see the need to be out on the street right now. So, yep, I really am anticipating finishing this bike. This is going to be a fun one. This is going to be one when you show up at the bike meets, people go, holy fuck, is that an F3? Yes, it is. You're damn right it is. And it all comes down to time, effort, and energy spent that makes you feel good at the end of a project. That's what I want to do with this. So let's get there. Yeah. Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right. <laughs>